Hello, in this session we will talk about SAP HANA Studio, Workbench and Perspectives. This is Hassan Mir from 02ProTraining.com. In the previous session we touched a little bit on perspectives. So SAP HANA Studio could be used for various purposes. So it presents its tools in the form of perspectives, which could be considered as views on the screen. And the administration activities are performed through administration console perspectives which offers features like database administration and monitoring and other commonly used perspectives would include modeler development and debug so these are commonly used perspectives but there are more perspectives in the system as well so before we talk more let's go into the system and let's do some hands-on on how to change perspectives what are the available perspectives and so on and then we will talk a little bit more Fire up SAP HANA Studio that you should already have on your computer. If not, then you can take the videos on how to install SAP HANA Client and SAP HANA Studio on your desktop. And also you can take the videos that I have that show you how to get access to SAP HANA One database on Amazon Web Services at a very affordable price. So once you have all the setup, then you are all set to learn administration and the development. When I fired up the SAP HANA Studio, it opened up in administration console perspective that I can see on the top left it says administration console so I can go into window menu at the top and go into open perspective this will give me a small list administration console lifecycle SAP HANA development but if I click on other this will give me complete list of perspectives that are available in the system currently administration console is marked as a default perspective meaning whenever I open the software it's going to go into this perspective so if I want to change the perspective let's say to SAP HANA development I can select that and click on OK as soon as I press OK uh, you will notice that the layout will change a little bit on the screen the menus will change and all these sections that, that are appearing on the screen will change so if I click OK you can see the change happened so we can say perspectives define the initial set and layout of views in the workbench window. So you can say perspectives define visible set of action sets. Not only that, they also control what appears in menus and toolbars. You need to understand that there is one too many relationship between workbench and perspectives. So you can open more than one perspective within a single workbench. When you're opening a perspective, you can open it in the existing workbench or you can open up a new workbench and open the perspective there. If you open the perspective in the existing workbench, then what will happen is the old perspective that was opened on the workbench will be hidden and a new one will take over, but you can switch back and forth between perspectives within a workbench. Okay, so this whole thing that you're seeing on the screen is one workbench. I can open a, a new workbench by going into window and say new window. This will open up a new workbench. So now you're seeing two workbenches on the screen. This is the old one, this is the new one. Let me go back to the old workbench. Now there are two perspectives opened up within this workbench. One was the administration console where I logged in initially and then I opened up the development perspective. So how do I switch back and forth? Control F8 will let you do that, but in f if you want to see the options through the menu, you can go into Window, Navigation, and under Navigation, you can see the option of Next Perspective and Previous Perspective. So you can do that, or let me just press Control F8. This will take me back to Administration Console. You can see at the top left it has changed. F8 again will take me back to SAP HANA Studio. So if you press it quickly, then you just see this menu, and uh, but it will change the perspective. You, if you have like three perspectives opened, then when you press Control F8 system, then will display three options here. If I go back to Window, I see another option here that says. SAP HANA Development 1 and 2 SAP HANA Development. What is this? This is referring to the workbenches. We have two workbenches opened up. So if I click on the second one, the focus will change to the second workbench. In this workbench, I can open up different perspectives. 
In the second workbench, I only have one perspective open right now, SAP HANA development, because when I opened up a new window, window, new window, when I did from the first workbench, that was the perspective that was opened in the original workbench, so that was cloned here in the second workbench. Now, if I go into window and open perspective, I'm doing this in the second workbench, window, open perspective, and modeler. So now I have modeler and development opened in the second workbench. So control F8 will show me that. So I can switch back and forth between modeler and SAP HANA development in the second workbench and I can switch back and forth HANA development and administration console in the first workbench. So now you understand the relationship between workbench and perspectives. If I've opened up more than one perspectives and if I don't need any of them I can go into window and close perspective this will close the current one so for us current one is administration console so that will be closed so I'll be back to the other one which is SAP HANA development so technically speaking a perspective is nothing but a group of settings in respect to toolbar menu command group and shortcuts what do you want to see under toolbar what do you want to see under menu and so on so you can open up a perspective and you can customize it based on your needs. You can add more menu options, you can remove existing options, and you can save this perspective as a unique name so that you can use this custom perspective later on just how you would use any other perspective. In order to customize a perspective, let's say SAP HANA development, I can go into window and then I can say customize perspective. So this will show me the components that are currently part of SAP HANA development perspective. You can see what is enabled under toolbar visibility and what, are, what is enabled under menu visibility. Then we have command groups availability and shortcut. So once I'm done customizing this based on my needs, I can click OK and then I can go into window and save perspective as and this will become my own custom perspective. I can give it any name here and click on OK. I can save the perspective as this name and later on I can use this perspective as any other perspective in the system.